Hi YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Ebony and this is Forever Ebony. Today I am here with an overdue video sharing what's in my Coach Soft Empire 40. I've had this bag for a little over two weeks now and I have been carrying it almost the entire time. And I have to say it's quickly become my favorite coach bag. Now, of course, that can always change, but the size and the soft leather have made it the perfect everyday bag. I've taken it everywhere from the nail salon to meeting up with friends, running errands. It's just been the perfect bag to carry no matter where I'm headed. But honestly, my favorite place to carry it so far has been to the grocery store. This bag fits perfectly in the front of the cart and I just love how accessible it is while I'm shopping. Before we get into what's inside, I do want to share with you guys my new charm that I got to go with it. This is the large taxi charm. You guys, I was on the hunt for this charm. I looked all over the place for it and I finally tracked it down. And once I found it, I had a payment link sent over to me so fast. <laughs> I've got to give a huge shout out to our girl Liz from Nothing But Bags. I sent her a picture of the bag once I got it and she immediately sent me a reel of brown girl chi with the charm on her bag. And I instantly knew I had to have it too. But it was almost like the charm didn't even exist or it was a runway exclusive that didn't go into production. Liz and I both were trying trying to find it and neither one of us were having any luck. Finally, I stopped by a coach store and the essay was so nice. She checked the system, made some calls and eventually she found two in stock and one of them had to be mine. It's just so cute on my bag. It does have silver hardware and the rest of the bag features gold, but I think mixing metals can be super high fashion. The key is to just keep a cohesive look overall. And this contrast adds an interesting touch to me. Plus the bold pop of yellow feels very New York and fits perfectly with the theme of this whole New York collection. Now at $200, I think it's on the pricier side for a charm, but I really believe it elevates the bag in a way that makes it worth it. Not only does it add a fun pop of color, but it's also versatile enough to use with other bags in my collection. So overall, I see it as a stylish investment. I also picked up this small apple charm. The last time I showed this bag, I had the small New York cluster charm on it, which was cute, but I feel like this new setup is a little more fashion forward and a little Little bit more of my style. The apple charm does have some weight to it. It doesn't feel hollow or flimsy. It's definitely a quality piece and it feels like it's going to be able to withstand daily use. Now the large taxi charm isn't heavy at all which honestly gave me mixed feelings at first but I think it was the right choice since the bag itself is already on the heavier side. So now that I've shared the new charms, I'm going to take them off so it'll be just a little bit easier to show you what's inside. As cute as they are, these charms do make a lot of noise, but I feel like they made this bag uniquely mine. I had someone comment saying they wouldn't put charms on a full grain leather bag like this, and I mean, I guess I get it. Everyone has their own style, but to me, the charms perfectly complement the bag, and if I'm being honest, you guys, I wouldn't even want this bag if it didn't have the charms on it. In my opinion, the charms are what really bring this bag to life. So right at the top of the bag, there is a zippered closure. I have not been using this closure at all. I mean, it is a really nice security feature if you're out and about, but honestly, I found it easier to just leave it open for quick and easy access. Now, I'm sure I'll use it eventually, but for now, it's just not been necessary. Inside, I do have a bag organizer. This organizer wasn't made for the Empire 40. It was actually made for the MCM medium list tote. I got rid of my entire MCM collection, you guys. I don't know, I kind of outgrew the brand, but this was the organizer that was inside of it, and it's a perfect fit. I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested in it. So first up inside is my Gucci card case wallet. This is one of my favorite SLGs. The card slot up front is just so convenient. Next is my Gucci key pouch and I just have my keys inside. Next is my phone and this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Then I have a Bath & Body Works hand lotion, a hand sanitizer, my AirPods, headache medicine, and a chapstick. 
So that is everything that was in the front compartment. This organizer also has a middle divider. The divider is attached with Velcro on each side, so you can easily detach it. And then there's also a zippered pocket right in the center for extra storage. In the back compartment, I just have the pouch that came with my Louis Vuitton Loop Hobo. You guys, I never use this pouch when I'm carrying my Loop Hobo. I don't know, for some reason, I just don't find it that useful in that bag. Since I wear contact lens, I have everything I need for them inside this pouch. And then finally in the bag, I have a Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist. This one is Into the Night. And here's how it looks empty with just the organizer. There's still plenty of room and pockets if I need to carry more. I try not to overload it, but it is nice to know that I have the extra space available if I need it. So that was everything inside my Coach Soft Empire 40. You guys, I have really been enjoying this bag since I started using it. It really is a nice change from the smaller bags I usually carry. I wasn't always into smaller bags, but I've been into them for the past couple of years. But I gotta say, this bag has rekindled my love for bigger bags. I really did forget how convenient being able to carry everything I need really is. And honestly, you guys, after using this bag, I started to feel like it really isn't all that big. As you can see, the organizer from the MCM Medium Liz fits perfectly inside. So if you own that MCM bag or even the Neverfull MM, the size difference really isn't that significant. And many of us use those bags as everyday bags. So I say this one is definitely practical for everyday use as well. Now, this bag is really popular right now, but I think that is for good reason. It's a really, really good bag. And I don't think of it as a trendy piece at all that will eventually fade away. To me, this style and silhouette are classic and timeless and will always be in fashion. So while it's gaining a lot of attention right now, I do believe that this bag will remain a staple in my collection for years to come. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope it gave you a good look at what fits inside and just how versatile it is. If you're thinking about getting it as well, I definitely recommend it. For me, it's a 10 out of 10 and I definitely say go for it. Right now, the bag is going in and out of stock on the Coach website, but if you have your eyes set on it, especially that Merlot color that all of you guys are going crazy for, I would just say keep checking the website. I'll put the link down in the description box. From what I kind of see, they restock it every week at the beginning of the week or call around to some of the Coach stores. I'm pretty sure that people are returning them, so they may have some available in store. It's a little bit of a hassle to get it right now because it's so popular, but you guys, trust me, it is definitely, definitely worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And I'll talk to you soon in my next video.